proof that Meghan Markle is the same good person she's always been. Before we assess anybody in pop culture, we need a better understanding of how imperfect people are. Nobody is going to fit the picture of perfection we still assign to notable people. Nevertheless, we should all believe most people are inherently good. Some are better than others, and a few more are often lambasted for being caring people. You can more or less place Meghan Markle in the latter category now. Thankfully, documented proof is out there proving she's an empathetic person who doesn't just think about herself at every turn. With likely another bombardment of bile from her step-siblings soon, let's look at the evidence Meghan is the same good person she's been all along. Meghan has reportedly always been a loyal friend. While it depended on how close of a friend you were to Meghan, the ones who stuck by her side all say she was loyal to them. Despite royal insiders throwing shade about Meghan's closest friends saying nice things about her to the British media, why should such comments be denied? Some royal officials contend Meghan sanctioned her friends to rally to her defense. Even if she did. She had a right to after being bombarded with criticism from all sides. Her friends wouldn't go out of their way to say good things either if they didn't really mean them. We can take their word, but there's also written online evidence of Meghan's caring personality and her selfless frame of mind. In some cases, you have to dig for it considering her social media record went into the digital ether when she deleted her Instagram and blog. A look back at Meghan's old blog, thanks to places like archives.org. You can find remnants of Meghan's thoughts and opinions from her old lifestyle blog. One piece of that was rescued and made available recently for everyone to see. It presented a snapshot of Meghan back in 2014 before she even knew Harry. Her blog talked poetically about the horrible times she went through in her 20s and how she was always trying too hard to make other people happy. During the period when she was struggling as an actress, a casting director told her to just be herself. The phrase you are enough more or less became a new catchphrase, and it was a philosophy she stuck to. This act of self-realization tells you a lot about herself and not using pretense to move ahead with life. Both Meghan and Harry turned out well thanks to their mothers. Thankfully, you can still find some British media outlets showcasing positive stories about Meghan. A recent story from the Daily Express, generally more supportive of the new royal couple. Notes Meghan's mother was quite similar to Princess Diana. Putting this equation together tells you a lot about how people turn out when they have similarly good mothers. Doria Ragland has been in the news off and on recently, and we've learned more about the life sacrifices she made to help others beyond her daughter. At the moment, she's spending time at Frogmore Cottage to help her daughter cope with becoming a new mother. Meghan staying close to her mother also tells you about the kind of person she is when some people in similar positions shut out their parents. Meghan can be forgiven for shunning her dad, Thomas Markle, Sr. Go back and see how many efforts Meghan has made to reconnect with her dad and find peace with her stepsister and stepbrother. When her dad revealed a personal letter to the media she'd written to him, this was the ultimate betrayal bringing inevitable banishment from her life. We all hope they can eventually repair their relationship. Regardless, shunning her dad for his actions doesn't make Meghan Markle a bad person. Being an inherently good person can become a major reinforcement when certain people try to convince you you're not. Having Harry and her mom around should help shield the Duchess away from any more relentless negative comments.